Hi everyone, I want to talk about treatment of acne. Treatment of acne. Kindly check the first presentation on acne so that I'll be able to follow the treatment and get it right. Thank you. You are using many medications because we are targeting the following. One, there's bacteria called Cotibacterium acnes. And because of that, you might be placed on oral antibiotics, topical antibiotics, and benzoyl peroxide. When you are given any of those, the target is that bacteria. Because there's increased oily sebum, then we are going to attack it with homo, homolar therapies and isotretinoin, acutane. Remember, I've said in the first presentation that androgens you know, that will come up during puberty will lead to increased oily sebum production. So while attacking that, we might choose hormonal therapy and acutane. I talked about inflammatory processes the other time that when inflammation and oxidation takes place and it's at the periphery level, then you have blackhead. To attack that, we can use azelaic acid, topical retinoids, oral tetracyclines, or acutane. In other words, we just don't prescribe without any reason, we prescribe targeting a particular process, okay? Abnormal discrimination of follicular hyperproliferation. If we want to checkmate that, then we use salicylic acid, topical retinoids, oral retinoids, hormonal therapies, or azelic acid. If it is a mild acne, then we are not going to do too much, yet we need to tackle all those different stages. Topical retinoids, we're going to use benzoyl peroxide, um, tretinoin or adapalene, and can be in the form of combination or topical dapsone. The example of uh, topical combination could be clindose, where we have benzoyl peroxide and clindamycin together, or you use Tactro, which will contain adapalene and benzoyl peroxide. It could be benzamycin, benzoyl peroxide and retromycin, or viacna, clindamycin, and tretinoin. You just choose one of these combination products used topically. If it is moderate acne, we use benzoyl peroxide plus oral antibodies, plus topical retinoids, plus topical antibodies. So you can use combination of benzoyl peroxide and antibodies topically like clindose and then use oral antibodies and topical retinoin. You can consider adding spironolactone or combine oral contraceptives, uh, particularly the one containing ciprotyrone acetate and estradiol. And in this case we have the N35. Some may go far to attack it seriously with Accutane. Severe acne. When you have used everything that could be used for moderate acne and you are not winning, use oral antibiotics plus Accutane. And you can consider 
combined oral contraceptives or spironolaxone and use a combination of topical agents like benzoyl peroxide and adapalene that is Tactuo or benzoyl peroxide and clindamycin pidozil. Just now you use about four or five different medications because severe acne could lead to nodules, could lead to cystic formation, could lead to scarring, and the individual, particularly females, could become sad, depressed, and suicidal because they feel this is disfiguring. But we don't want you to get to that level. That's why we'll go as far as combining three, four medications at the same time to hit it hard. The topical antibiotics, yeah, I won't go into more details right now. So you can take a picture of this and keep. Benzoid peroxide, you apply twice daily. It comes in 2.4 to 10% gels, lotion, creams, masks, bars, or cleansers in the morning and bedtime. The side effect is that it can bleach your hair and your clothing. Quinamycin is an antibiotic, you know, topically, also twice daily, comes in 1% gel, lotion, solution, or foam. If you use foam, use only once daily. The side effect is pseudomembranous colitis, but when you use it along benzoyl peroxide, the side effects of pseudomembranous colitis will be reduced. So, combination clindamycin and benzoyl peroxide will be better solution or better to be selected than selecting clindamycin alone. Benzoyl peroxide 2.5%, 5%, or 3.75%, and clindamycin 1% once daily or twice daily, all at once. Or you just take twice daily, depending on how severe the situation is. Also, you can use benzoyl peroxide and erythromycin, give twice daily or in gel form. Also, adapalene and benzoyl peroxide, that is a two once daily gel. You see that we have a lot of topical agents to choose from. You can use clindamycin and tretinoin. You give it only once a day, but right now I need to emphasize one thing. You give this at hour of sleep, at bedtime. At bedtime. If you use only erythromycin topical, you can use that twice daily. And if you choose the absorb, you can use it also twice daily. But when you use any compound containing retinoin, you use it at bedtime. time. Dapsone will give yellow orange skin discoloration when applied with benzoyl peroxide. Azelic acid is 20% cream or 15% gel twice daily. Salicylic acid, you know, in any form it could be. And some will actually use intralitional corticosteroid and the treatment of a particular type of acne, depending on how severe it is. You can take your treatment to the level of using oral antibiotics like tetracycline, dosicycline, minocycline, and septra. So if you choose tetracycline, 500 milligram twice daily, but watch out because most of these teenagers, particularly they may be pregnant and they don't know. So rule out pregnancy because the recycling, the recycling and monocycling are not good in pregnancy and young children. Um, Cetra once daily as double strength and then azithromycin intermittently because 
it has a very long hive life. So we don't use azithromycin on daily basis. Oral retinoids, you know, we have topical one, then oral now, that is acrutane. This one is given as 0 0.5 milligram per kilogram daily. Then you spray for pregnancy because there is severe side effects of teratogenicity. It is contraindicated in pregnancy and it can increase triglycerides. And when you know when triglycerides is increased, pancreatitis is at the door. So if it is well tolerated at 0 0.5 milligram per kilogram per day, you double the dose to so 1 milligram per kilogram per day bet in two divided doses. In other words, if you have been using 5 milligram per day before and is well tolerated and you want to double, it's just going to increase to 5 milligram in the morning, 5 milligram the evening time. Omuna agents combine oral contraceptives once daily. I've gone over that before and we've chosen Diane 35 for this purpose. Spironolactone 25 mg per hour once daily or its equivalent doses. Uh, Spironolactone is also contraindicated in pregnancy. Just like combined hormone contraceptive agents are also, and it's contraindicated in autostatic hypotension because it's going to set the fluid out, which is what your patient will need for control of autostatic hypotension. And it increases triglycerides, so you don't use it in patients with increased triglycerides because it's going to cause massive trouble for the pancreas. Topical tretinoin creams, 0.025 or up to 0.1. One thing is going to happen here. Use as hour of sleep. Um, <clears throat> Adapalene, you can use also at the hour of sleep. Tazarotinin cream or gel or foam, never in pregnancy. Azotretinoin gel, please do pregnancy screening, contraindicated in pregnancy. In fact, you use two contraceptive methods while on it. Why that? Just want to make sure this woman will not be pregnant. So is going to take cooperation between the young woman or young lady and the committed doctor to sit down and work things out in such a way that pregnancy screening is done before the commencement of acetretinoine in any way, other topical or oral, then will be monitored throughout the time of the medication administration, making sure that pregnancy has not in any way uh, occurred. And we just need to keep an eye on this and advise the patient to use contraceptive methods, maybe condom, weight, combine oral contraceptives, just make sure or complete abstinence if that is possible. Also make sure the pregnancy is not taking place. In conclusion, please cooperate with your doctor because you're saying that while going through all these medications, you just have to cooperate with him or her so that he or she will be able to help you out. Cooperate with your doctor and open up if you are becoming anxious or depressed as well. Because that will help rather than suicidal addition and committing suicide. You can be referred to a dermatologist if it is recalcitrant.
Thank you for listening or watching my presentation. Uh, I would love it that you subscribe to my channel so that you can get these uh, presentations as soon as they are published. And I'm wishing everyone having mild, moderate, or severe acne, a quick relief and speedy recovery while you continue to cooperate with your caregivers. Thank you.